Okay. In this video, we're going to be working out empirical formulas given percentage compositions of the of the different elements present in that compound. And this involves a couple of stages. Like the first one involves um converting the the percentage compositions into masses. And once we've done that, we can use the molar mass, mass and moles equation and and work out the relative mole, the, work out the number of moles for each of those. And then we can use that to find out ratios, and then we can use those ratios to work out the number of each of the atoms of each element present in the compound. So let's just go through this example and I'll show you. Okay, so the first thing we do... Well, let me read out this question. A compound is found to have percentage composition 56.5% potassium, 8.7% carbon, and 34.8% oxygen by mass. Calculate its empirical formula. Okay. So I need to calculate its empirical formula. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is... is I'm going to try and convert these into masses. And the way I'm going to do this is um, I'm going to assume that the compound sample that I have, I'm going to um, assign it a mass of 100 grams. So let's say in total we've got 100 grams of this compound. Now, these are percentage compositions by mass, as you can see here, by mass. Therefore, we, if it's by mass, we have 56.5 let me do this in let me do this in purple since it's not, yeah fifty six point five percent potassium which is uh yeah k fifty six point five percent potassium um oops 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 what I meant to write was um fifty six point five grams of potassium yeah and 8.7 grams of carbon and um, 34.8 grams of oxygen and so this is what we have in this sample given that we're assuming it has a, has a mass of 100 grams altogether and if I take a look at my periodic table what I find is that potassium has a mass, uh, relative atomic mass of 39.1, 39.1, so the relative atomic mass and also basically which would be the molar mass, big M. 39.1 for, for potassium. For carbon, that's 12 or 12.0. And for oxygen, it's 16 or 16.0. I don't really need to write that there, but yeah. And the next stage would be to, um, to work out the number of moles. So the moles would be represented by yeah, just moles or N, but yeah, I'll just write moles. And... To work out the moles, I'll divide each of the masses which I've got here by the molar masses, and that would give us the moles. So what I do here is um, 56.5, let me, let me change up the colours a little bit, let me use a blue, 56.5 divided by 39.1, which is equal to... Where's my copy? There it is. Hmm. 56.5 divided by 39.1. 39.1. And that gives us 1.445. And I will. Let me see. What's the fraction? Mm, I'll just. I'll round this to 1.45. 1.4. 5. So the three significant figures is 1.45 moles. Okay, next one. So for carbon, if we do the same calculation, sort of cal same sort of calculation, 
it's not a shade of blue um 8.7 divided by 12 which would give us zero point seven two five right and so now we have the two two of them zero point seven two five moles let me write the moles in there moles oh. and for this one here um the oxygen the mass of oxygen is thirty four point eight so thirty 4.8 divided by 16 the moles would that would be that and that would give us 4.8 divided by 16 that would give us 2.175 which I'll I'll round to to three significant figures which would give me 2.18 2.18 and so now what we need to do is now well now what we have is the ratios the molar ratios and in order to convert these um these ratios into into um whole numbers so that we can we can deduce the empirical formula in in order to convert these into whole numbers what i need to do now <coughs> is to is to Divide all three of them by the smallest number which we have here, the smallest amount of moles. And the smallest one we have is this one, which is 0 0.725. So what we need to do now to find that the ratio is basic. Let me let me use some, some greens here. <coughs> For the first one, we're dividing it by 0 0.725, just like all the other ones, but 1.45 divided by 0 0.725 equals 1.45 divided by 0 0.725 equals 2 that gives us 2 so the first one is 2 next one 0 .0, 0 0.725 divided by 0 0.725 and this would obviously would give us one because we're dividing a number by itself. And for this next one, we're going to be dividing two point one eight by zero point seven two five. So zero point seven two five, and that would give me uh, that would give me. Um, 2.18 divided by 0 0.725 that would give me 3.006 which is basically free to um to to, to um to two decimal to, to two significant figures is free so the the ratio which we found here is two to one to three and therefore since these are the whole numbers we've produced the ratio therefore i mean the the empirical formula therefore based on this ratio we found this whole number ratio is going to be k two c o three and so that is the compound um which was which was which was wait, wait yeah 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 that's the compound which this is i mean i mean this is the um empirical formula of the compound yeah